This video demonstrates how to set up and perform an ultrasound scan of the spleen. Equipment required includes the following. An ultrasound machine, a selection of transducers, an examination table, positioning aids such as wedge sponges or pillows, a chair, acoustic gel, examination gloves, bed linen and towels, and a sonographer's worksheet. Ask the patient to lie supine on the bed. Expose the abdomen and apply pre-warmed acoustic gel to the upper abdomen. Select the appropriate frequency transducer. Confirm the correct transducer selection and preset on the ultrasound machine. Perform a survey of the abdomen and make any necessary adjustments to the machine settings to maximize the image quality. Once the survey is complete, begin the scan of the spleen. Ask the patient to lie in the right lateral decubitus position with their left arm raised away from the abdomen and make them comfortable. Apply the pre-warmed acoustic gel to the left intercostal region. Select the appropriate transducer position. The most useful position for imaging the spleen is the left intercostal coronal approach. Place the transducer between the ribs at the level of the ninth intercostal space. Ask the patient to take a deep breath in and hold it. Manipulate the transducer in the coronal plane until a suitable longitudinal view of the spleen is obtained. This may require a coronal oblique scan plane. Press the freeze button to capture the image. Annotate the scan plane, patient position, and structures identified. Note the presence and appearance of any pathology. Measure the length of the spleen. Obtain this measurement by placing the cursors at the superior and inferior borders of the spleen. Next, measure the splenic width by placing cursors at the diaphragmatic dome and hilum of the spleen. Save or print the images and press the freeze button again to unfreeze the image. With the transducer still in the longitudinal plane, ask the patient to hold their breath and then perform color Doppler on the splenic vessels. Adjust the size, position, and angle of the color box to encompass the splenic vessels. Adjust the color gain and pulse repetition frequency as necessary to observe the blood flow of the splenic artery and vein. Freeze and annotate the color Doppler longitudinal image. Remember to print or save the image. Next, Obtain a transverse view of the spleen by rotating the transducer to the transverse plane. Manipulate the transducer and ask the patient to take in a breath and hold it to optimize the image. As previously, freeze, annotate, print or save the image.